You've been outspoken on this, saying that journalists should be very skeptical of the U.S. government claims. Lay out your case for us. So I think everybody would agree that it's certainly plausible that this is something that Russia might have done. Um, I certainly wouldn't pa put it past them. It wouldn't shock me if it turns out that they did. This is the sort of thing Russia and the U.S. have done to other countries and to one another for many decades, including over the last 10 years. So nobody would say Russia didn't do it or that it would be shocking if they did. But there's a lesson, a really critical lesson that I thought we had learned back in August 1964 when the U.S. Senate stood up and authorized Lyndon Johnson to escalate the war in Vietnam with two dissenting votes based on the intelligence community's claims about what happened in the Gulf of Tonkin that turned out to be totally false. And the same lesson in 2002 when a group of bipartisan senators assured the nation that the intelligence community convinced them that Saddam had uh, weapons of mass destruction and was in an alliance with Al-Qaeda. And the same lesson we learned in 2013 when just months before the Snowden reporting, James Clapper, President Obama's top national security official, lied to the faces of the country when he said that he wants to assure everybody that the NSA doesn't collect data on millions of Americans. And that lesson is we don't just blindly and uncritically accept the claims of the intelligence community, especially provocative claims about a foreign adversary, without seeing convincing evidence presented by them that those claims are true. And we absolutely have not seen that in this case.